Good morning, folks. Quick ISON update. Hubble lined up their images into a video. It's interesting that we don't see any of the trailing objects visible in some of the other images. There's good discussion on the Universe Today page. Folks, this link was shared yesterday. Image sequences that are really quite telling about just how much our world is changing. Let's go to one of my heroes, Pierre-Marie Robitaille. Had a terrific conversation last night with Montgomery Childs of the Sapphire Project. My hero's name came up. Robitaille conceptualized and built the world's first ultra-high field clinical MRI. He's extensively published on the topic, and so what the hell is he doing in my top three most important living scientists list? Well, when this man, with such a knowledge of high energy production, control, analysis, etc., when he looks at our star, he sees not gaseous material, but high energy plasma. Star Observers reminded me of this paper two days ago, and I quickly dove back into his latest work, published in April. Taken me a while to understand, but figured it's time to share it. I might suggest the bit on coronal holes first. Okay, that's enough theory. We're coming back to this idea of Earth changing over time, and never to be outdone. The Scientific Visualization Studio is showing the sprawl of one of Atlanta's suburbs here. A quick word about the harmful algae prediction for Lake Erie. I know many do not heed these warnings. Indeed, many algae blooms are not dangerous at all, but this is not one of them. This is what kills children and family dogs every single summer. Please, please don't let it happen to you. Sumatra Fire and Haze update. Thousands have developed acute respiratory issues. Hundreds have been hospitalized. But the hot spots are finally dwindling. Unfortunately, not far from there, a shipwreck combined with spilling oil has emergency mitigators scrambling. Also have yet another seismic swarm beneath a volcano on the west coast of the Americas. Got our third hurricane in the Pacific this year. Luckily, its strength will test the open waters of the Pacific in the five-day outlook. Water vapor loop indicates the same. And southeast of that, we are watching our next potential low-pressure builder exiting the Caribbean. Europe? This is as simple as it is in the U.S. Big blue low pressure pushing counterclockwise with the storms at the leading edge as it creeps into central and southern nations. USA? No major convergences other than this static U we've seen for days, dumping a ton of rain but few severe events. Top watch is Arizona and New Mexico. Switching to the sun where the solar wind might as well have a smiley face with orange density within low normal ranges and the speed tapering to 350 kilometers per second. Magnetometer has regained its nice calm back and forth. Meanwhile, the southeastern limb has become a major story. First, the top large spots are definitively not delta. The opposite polarity that you're going to see is outside of the umbras. But the large region is either two separate groups close together or a Zurich class F gamma region with four areas of potential delta development. It's where you see the red and blue umbras within penumbral regions. But you also get the idea that each has some room for improvement. Without deltas, X-class solar flares aren't happening, but the M flares have begun. The sun appears far more active this morning than it has been in weeks. Will she continue or decay facing Earth? So far, the blasts sent off the side are not Earth-directed, and right now Earth's primary magnetic connection to the sun is just around the western limb, along with the subprime connectivity. Remember the potential fireworks the next two days due to the heliocentric opposition of Mercury and Jupiter? As for quaking, caught the 6.1 as that sliver of an umbral field opening faced Earth, but after appearing to be extremely thin, the six hours leading up to 5 a.m. Eastern time this morning shows that field parting. We haven't taken any more big ones yet, but the rarer location of Uganda, complementing fives in Iran and Afghanistan, uptick signals in the Southeast Pacific and the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, USGS also missing a North Pole quake, but that's uh, <laughs> nothing new. Corona holes looking dark here, Hopefully the quakes leave with them. Focus is on the incoming sunspots. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.